Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my th Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Oh my gosh, how did I mess up the intro? <laughs> how are you guys doing today? I hope you're having an absolutely lovely Sunday. Um, I just heard a, oh no, it was just the controller. Whew. Okay. Let's let y'all see. Here we go. It's time. It's time for more Majora's Mask. And what we're going to do first is actually the Goron races. Okay, so we have to beat this. So um, we are going to go ahead and do, an, a, do a little save state. You don't have to pay any money for this one. This isn't one of the pay money mini games, um, but you do need to beat it uh, for 100%. Ah, Darmy, I've been waiting for you. See, everyone's restless because they can't wait to enter. You're going to enter, aren't you? Yep, we're going to enter. <laughs> you have to. I want to show everyone how Darmy races. If your magic power runs low, charge it up with green jars on the course. Okay, so we're going to try to win the race. The Gorons have stupid, stupid rubber band physics. So it's hard. I'm not sure I should have done that because of the rubber band physics. I maybe should have let them go first and then gone behind them. You don't want to bump into them like I'm doing now because that just slows you the fuck down. Um, it's, it's hard to do when they're behind you. Ah, bitches. You want to hit the jumps? We're going to hit... Yeah, got it. But you got to be careful because there's the fucking bomb flowers. You want to... Bitch! Okay, I don't think I won this one. fucking bitches. Yeah, I didn't win. And I missed. Yeah, definitely didn't win. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. We're gonna save right there so we don't have to do his dialogue again. Okay. And you don't really have to, like, do the save state like I'm doing. You could just, like, you know, go. It's fine, because there's no, like, money involved or anything. I'm gonna let them go. I'm gonna let them go this time. Okay. We'll get a little head start, because they started slow due to the rubber band. And now they're gonna speed up. Now I'm kind of, like, in the pack. Okay. I think this is how we're supposed to do it. I fucking hate rubber band physics. Back in the day, I played the hell out of that Diddy Kong Racing game. It also has rubber band physics that are so stupid. Dodge the trees. Oh, bitch. Don't dodge the trees, I guess. Like, that's not something you're going to do. Okay, these fucking bitches. Ugh. Nope. Lost again. Don't you knock me off the fucking thing. Don't you do it. Don't you fucking do it. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Did I do it? Did I do it or did I get second? You're just a little- I did get second! Ah! Oh, I was so close! I was so close. Okay, we're gonna do it this time. We're gonna do it this time. We're gonna do it. I believe in me. We're gonna do the same thing. Let them go first. Don't get a jump start. One. Go. Okay, now go. Boom! None of these other Gorons spike out, which implies that none of them use magic, and yet there's magic pots all over the course. Magic pots for me and only me. Not for any other fucking Gorons, but they take them. They take them anyways. They take them anyways. Because they have hate in their hearts for Darmy. 
They don't want me to win, even though I deserve it. Okay, let's do this jump this time. Fuck yeah. Go to go, go, go. Let's go. This little bitch hugging the inside track. Ah, second again. Okay, let's try again. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. It's race day. Don't cut me off. God damn. Get out the pack. So they have regular roll, but they still go faster as if they had spikes. It's not right. If I could go through there without hitting the trees, that would be awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> Failed run. Stop catching up to me. That's rude. Did it. Ugh, it took too many tries, but we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. That was great. I knew you were the fastest score on Darmy. I was sure you'd get first place. This is from Daddy. It's the prize. Yeah, gold dust. Okay. We need this. We're going to use that later. I want to be just like you. Quick. Okay. So we are fast. We are fast like lightning. So now we've got milk. And we've got gold dust. Oh my god, if my eye could stop watering, that would be great. That would be great. Okay. Now there is another race we're going to do. Yes, it was me, actually, a Hylian that just won your race. How does that make you feel, Gorons? Do you feel cheated? I feel like maybe you should. All right, let's go to Milk Road. We have another race to win. So now we need a Pona. Okay, there she is. I think it's over here is where we want to go. Yes. All right. Hello, Goron. I mean, Gorman. How are you today? Is that pathetic thing your horse? I would have guessed that little thing was a mule for sure. Ain't that right, little brother? Do you think a horse apathetic would gallop if he pushed forward? Or would it run faster if he pressed A? This guy's funny. Why don't you give us 10 rupees for the chance to race against us? If you win, we'll give you something nice, kid. Okay, let's race. It's sample race. Just go once around the track. If you can beat us to the finish line, you win. <laughs> You're ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. This is another one that might take a few tries. They also have fucking rubber band physics.
They can hit their horses a lot more than I can hit Epona. She don't take it like that. Ah, oh, fuck. I fucked it up. Yep, we're gonna have to do it again. I think I still have 10 rupees, so we'll do a save state right before. Yeah. I know you win. Yeah, I know you'll let you. Re yeah, okay. Let's save state. There we go. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna win this time. I know how to do this. Messed up the last one. Damn it. Should have pressed A faster. Okay, we're gonna do it better this time. Remember, winning video games is not about skill, it is about knowledge and persistence. And we persist. These Gormans do not deserve a win. I think I fell too far behind, maybe. <gasps> hey! Welcome in, Koneko! Fuck, I still lost, even though I did all the jumps. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other, I had some lurkers in here earlier, but nobody, nobody pressed the first. I think they were just chilling. How are you today? I hope you're having a lovely weekend. Bust him out. You're my lucky charm, friend. You're my lucky charm. Help me beat the Gorman racetrack. Doing okay other than being hacked <laughs> over by DST. It's okay, you really didn't miss much. You only missed the quiz, that's all. A few things last minute. Oh, yeah, 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 because it's going away. That's such a fucking bummer. You know, and I don't know what the solution for that is other than, like, I'm so glad piracy exists. Um, because otherwise there would be so much stuff that's just lost forever. Oh my god, there's a hair stuck to my lip gloss. Yeah, oh, there we go. I can't believe we lost! Big bro, I wonder if we can give this- give that to this guy. We gotta give him something Well, he's a kid so he could just do with it. She should be fine. Okay, we got Garo's Mask! The wandering ninja spirits who appear in Ikana once wore this. In exchange, you can't tell anyone where you got this. Yes, we rubbed the Gorman noses, Gorman brothers' noses in it, 
and this is how we help them, apparently. I picked up Pokemon Black and Dream Radar, and I'm currently downloading Detective Pikachu. Oh! Let me see what I get from the quiz. Can do you, do you still have it? Like, can you see it if you scroll up? Here, let me paste it again, just in case you can't. There you go. We got 100%, of course. I, I thought it was going to be harder. You know, I thought it was going to be harder than it was, is the truth. All right, so we need our ocarina again. Oop. And we're going to fly to the pirates. But there was some good history lessons in there, too, if you, like, read what it says after you get it correct or incorrect. It has it has some good stuff to tell. It might be all stuff that you already know. Um, but I feel like it's good stuff for the younger peeps that may not know all this stuff. Yes. It was good. Swim, swim, swim. Okay, so we have to swim over here to the pirate area. Just from being 2010's ff.net, but yeah, I know what you mean. I think you'll know most of these, though. Like, I really don't think you're going to have trouble with this quiz. If you do, tell me which one you messed up on. And there we go. This is how we get into the Pirate's Fortress. There's the ladies. The second one is my squick trope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they uh, they went pretty hard on that quiz. They went pretty hard, you know, I'm not gonna lie. It's, uh, it's a pretty serious quiz. Okay, so we need the stone mask so that we are not seen. Um, and we need to go over to this platform. So we're just going to wear the stone mask um, to avoid them. And yes, that does mean the fish are going to get me, but whatever. We're just going to swim past them. They don't hurt that much. They don't hurt that much. Yeah, off of me, fishy. Outside original, right? I agree. Outside original canon, like, that should be a saying. You know, something. Something like that for a meaning outside original canon. We should have that. All right, so then up here, we need to Goron pound this switch down. Okay, no, we do have our Goron mask. So I'm gonna wait till they pass. I can't remember if they can see me up here or not. Canon J. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess it would it would be yeah. Okay, they're passed. So we take off the stone mask, we put on the Goron mask. Pearl. Hound. Boom. Okay, and then we gotta switch to Zora. And then swim. And go down, so the pirates can't see us. No fishies. Stay away. And we can get in here. Oh! Oh, have you never seen Arrested Development? Oh, that show is so funny, Koneko. Oh, it's so funny. You should watch it. It's an excellent show. Okay, dive down. All right, so I think we do this block first. Oh, nope, dive. Come on, grab it. There we go. I don't watch sitcoms. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's definitely a sitcom. Okay, and then I think we go around here. And then we can pull this block. Oh no, I push it forward. That's right. Sitcoms tend to squick me out. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, you never know what type of joke they're going to make. Because a lot of sitcoms kind of have a little bit of everything.
Now you can like jump over there and you'll see there's a chest, but it's just rupees inside, I'm pretty sure. So we're not gonna bother with it. Oh. So you gotta swim up and you gotta be careful because you don't wanna get caught in that thing because that'll send you back, but you also don't wanna explode the mines. So we'll come over here and then surface. So you kind of do it like that. And then you can come up here. It's not even that, it's just they are almost always romance wannabes. Oh yeah, yeah, no they are. They're slow burn romances most of the time. Okay, now we have to swim around these guys so we don't get blowed up. And there is a chest over here. It's rupees! But it's easy, so you might as well get it. Okay, there's a piece of heart over here that we definitely want to get. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yep, okay, so I don't have to worry about those barrels, I don't think. I think I just have to come up here and worry about these barrels. So we need our bunny hood. Because we're going to have to be fast. We Goron punch these. Yes. Okay. Press the switch. Dubbed content. I mean, <laughs> also potentially horrifying, right? Also potentially horrifying. Okay, then you bunny hood run into here, and here we go. Peace of heart. So not too bad. Now we do have to go on to get out. But, you know, because you're already in here, it doesn't take so long. Okay. So I think then, um, oh, we gotta do these other barrels. Because that way we see this switch. So now, let's see. I'm looking at my notes. Should we, should we shoot, shoot the switch and then jump in the water? Okay. Wee! All right, then we're in the next area. As a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, dub contents is need horrifying sometimes. <laughs> Reader point of view fic. Did you mean second person POV? Yeah, yeah, like you. <laughs> yeah. Um, next area. Okay, we just have to swim and get to the ladder. All right. So this is another one of those, like, it's got a lot of, like, mines and stuff, and you don't want to get caught in bitch. And you don't want to get caught in that, so you gotta swim over to it, and then we'll dive down, and then we'll walk. There we go. Get to this ladder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was really funny. You just saw pairing fiction? Y'all, canon is only a suggestion. It's true. Canon is only a suggestion. All right, and then, mm -mm -mm. okay, I, I think I know how to do this. So you gotta step on the vent and then you gotta do this. Bitch, damn it, that was too high. Okay, let's try that again. Ah, too slow. Okay, you can do it, Karen. You can do it. There we go. Now we shoot up. Whee! Boom! You don't want to go all the way up because then you'll get blowed up by the mines. Okay. Now in here, we want to climb up here. The last question's unfair. There's two types of a megaverse. Yeah, yeah. I think one of them gives you like partial credit. I don't know. I did choose the correct one, but I think I surmise that the other one must give you partial credit or something. 
Okay, so you can look out, and this is like the next area. It is absolutely crawling with pirate ladies. Okay. So we want to go back. We don't want to be Zora anymore. We're going to need our stone mask again. Pretty sure it originated in Twilight fanfiction. That is not true. It originated with um, Jensen and Jared, RPF. Real person fiction and supernatural was the very first Omegaverse. Um, oh wait, I need Goron again to punch those. It was posted on a live journal kink meme. Yep. The more you know. Okay, wait. I am doing this wrong. This is not right. Okay, let me bunny hood again. I think I remember what I'm supposed to do. It's up here. There's more to do up here than just look through the telescope. I just forgot. Okay, you're supposed to turn around, and yeah, there's a switch. Ah. <sighs> uh. I think I can just shoot this with an arrow. Yeah, they, there we go. And now I can get through. To be fair, if it wasn't Twilight, it definitely would have been supernatural. It's always super, right? It's always supernatural. Okay, so we're back out here again, and we can come around. And I think we're supposed to go up. I'm just checking. Yeah, we're going to go up the ramp. We go up the ramp. SPN, Supernatural Hulock. I mean, yeah, Super Hulock um, is the culprit a lot of times. Okay, so now we're in this room, which is what we saw through the telescope. All right, and since we have the stone mask, we can literally just just go. So we're, we are supposed to get to this right here. Oh, seven out of seven. Good. I knew it. I knew, like, I think, like, maybe younger fandom people might not know those words, but, like, if you're over 25, I feel like you knew all those words, you know? There was nothing on there that was too hard. Okay, let's go. Don't you walk. Okay, good. I thought she was gonna walk back down, and I was like, no! Don't do it! Okay. And now we go through here. I think... Oh, this is wrong. This is wrong. This isn't the way I was supposed to go. There's a different door. Hang on. Let's go back. Whee! Just kidding, you guys. It was not that door. That's not the door. See, they look at you. They look at you like they know there's something there. But they don't see anything, so they don't do anything. Alright, now we follow that ass. Oh, why? Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Kingdom Hearts fandom with all of its weirdness definitely helped by introducing me to some of these. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Kingdom Hearts fandom is pretty big. Stop. Don't stop walking. Just keep going. My god. Why is this so hard? I'm just trying to cross the bridge, and even though I have the stone mask and you can't see me, I still can't walk through you. Keep going. Hello. There we go. Ah, I can't walk through you, bitch. Keep going, please. You're totally harshing my vibe. Okay, there we go. There's a door behind here. That's what I was supposed to go through. It's this door. There we go. This is where I was supposed to be. All right, see you soon, Koneko. Buzz, buzz. Oh my god, this eyeball can't stop watering. Ooh. I've been waiting for you. And did you find the rest of the eggs? N no but that's because- Uh... What are you trying to pull here? If people hear the great pirates have lost the treasure they stole, we'll become the laughing stock. Yes, but- Avil, the sea is strangely murky where we were attacked by the sea snakes. Silence! That's why the Zoras can't send for any help. Now that the eggs are gone, the Zoras should be frantically searching for them. If we don't hurry, the Zora will get to them before we do. 
There are four eggs here now. Hurry, go find the other three eggs before those sea snakes eat them. Understood. She's so sad. Wait. The Zora eggs are the only clue we have about the dragon cloud floating over the bay. If what that strange masked one says is true, and if we can get our hands on the treasure that lies sleeping in the temple in the dragon cloud, then we can spend the rest of our lives living the good life. So get a move on and go find them now. Understood. Okay, so now we witnessed that scene. Oh, we already have our bow out. So you get your bow out and you can shoot through right here. Tattle will tell you this eventually, like if you walk up, but I tell you in this time. Oh no, bees! Ah! Ah! Bees! I also run from bees, I understand. Okay, now there's nothing else here. Like if you come over here, I think it's just like some pots, yeah. It's just some pots in case you need arrows in this spot. But now, run, run, run. Now we want to hop down to that door I went through in the first place. And we come to this room where there's nobody. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. We got the hookshot. Yes. Okay. So now we can hookshot things. Hookshot is very, very useful. So here we go. We can hookshot up to here. Whee! And we need a couple things. We need our empty bottle and we need our Zora mask. Oh, I'm wearing the stone. Okay, we'll put it there. Whatever. Now these things are going to attack you, but I just ignore them kind of, you know, it's whatever. You'll be okay. We have plenty of hearts. You got a Zora egg. Okay, surface. Now there are three other Zora eggs in here. You can go ahead and get them now, but my bottles are full, so I am not going to. Um, this is all I was trying to do here during day two right now. So um, instead, we're just gonna get caught. We're just gonna get caught. Wee! Fastest way to exit. Sup, lady? Hey, you! Halt! Okay, so they just throw you out to the lagoon. That's all they do. And then if you get caught in the lagoon, I'll show you what that what happens then. There are a bunch of chests down at the bottom, by the way, that is like, um... This just got 20 rupees in them. They're just 20 rupee chests. Come here, ladies. There we go. Okay. Hey, you, halt. All right, so we got one egg. Oh, here's a guy. What's up, dude? I'm a cow. What are you doing in a place like this? This is the ominous Pyrus Fortress. I don't think you should get too close, but I'm okay. Well, actually... The pirates in the fortress are all women, and better yet, I hear they're dangerous. <laughs> so I thought maybe I should check them out. What? Don't look at me like that! Okay, whatever, my dude. I understand. I already got asked for a photo of the pirates as well. So now, we can go back. Whee! Let's see. Oh, it's over here. Okay, dolphin jump time. Whee! Whee! I love the swimming mechanic in this game. It's so fast and fluid. Most games could never. They put you in the water and you're all slow and shit. But not Majora's Mask. In Majora's Mask, you're fast and sleek like dolphin. All right. Let's go back up here.
And all you gotta do once you get a Zora egg is you climb up here and you dump it in the tank. <laughs> okay. So we got the hook shot, we got a Zora egg. Whee! And the next thing we need to do is gonna be helping out Kremia in Romani Ranch at 6 p.m. So we've got a little bit of time before then. So let's go and explore Zora's domain. We did not get a chance to do that on the first day. We didn't make it over there. So let's use these last couple of hours to go talk to everybody over in Zora's domain. So that's gonna be over here and around the corner. So to get to Zora's domain, you got to do some swimming. You cannot get there without swimming. Wee, wee. Oops, I went too far. My bad, my bad. It is around over here, right? I think. I think it's around this way. Come on. These little fishes is bitches. Don't bite me. I didn't do nothing to you. Yeah, I dodged that one. Okay, yeah, around over here. And you go up here. Now the first thing we're gonna do is take off the mask and we're gonna slice the statue. Boom. Let's talk to her as Macau. What's up, babe? Oh, you don't want to talk? That sad face is trying to tell you something. You can see it in her expression. So you do get different things um, from talking to them as Macau versus talking to them as Link. So she see how she's like dot dot dot. Like Link doesn't really understand her the way Macau does. So let's come in here and talk to everybody as Link. See what they have to say. This is Zora Hall. We'll talk to them as Macau later, but let's talk to them as Link first. There's a guy up here hanging out on the balcony. What you got to say, sir? Did you come here to see the Indigos? Cause you couldn't wait for the concert? I heard they were having a rehearsal and I've been waiting here ever since. But the stage lights aren't even lit. So it looks like I'll be a while before the rehearsals start. I wonder when they're gonna start. Come on, I wanna see my Lulu. So he's obsessed with Lulu. He's a Lulu super fan. He loves her so much. And this in here, I think this is the item shop. I think this is the Zora item shop. Yeah. Yeah, so you can get some things here. Hero shield, arrows, red potion. But we don't need any of that. Out here, we got a couple of guys hanging out. They're also waiting for the rehearsal. Did you come to see the Indie Goes rehearsal too? No? Uh, have you heard of the Indigos? Of course, duh. I thought so. The Indigo Goes are pretty big now, aren't they? The rehearsal's about to begin, so I thought you'd come to see them. Okay, what you got to say? Huh? Here too? This is a problem. Rehearsal hasn't started yet, so I guess it's okay, but once rehearsal starts, you'll have to buy a ticket. The Indigo Goes is a wildly popular band right now. If we don't sell tickets to their rehearsals too, we'll end up with tons of people showing up. Well, yeah, but it's like in the middle of your city. I guess Zoras get in for free? I don't know. This is the room of Macau and Tijo, the guitarist and drummer for the Zora band, the Indigo Goes. They don't m meet with ordinary people. Okay, whatever. I'm not ordinary. I've already saved you so much, you just don't know it. This is the room of Joppas, the bassist for the Zora band, Indigos. Indigo Goes. I'm sorry, but he's busy practicing for the concert, so I can't let you see him. 
Whatever, dude. This is the room of Evan, the leader of the Zora Band, the Indigo Goes. He's a nervous guy, so nobody's allowed unless they're on official business. Okay, well, whatever. Sup? Shut up, I'm busy, don't talk to me. So this is Lulu's room, and another one of Lulu's fans. She's got a lot of fans. And uh, they're kind of creepy. What? They're off again. That's a problem. Aren't you, are you free? If you have a sec, could you go light the second floor seating lights? Unless those are on the stage, lights won't come on. Thanks. Okay. Hey, you can't do that. No climbing up on the rehearsal stage. We're doing the sound check right now, so don't make any noise. Okay, so he's saying... What did... I'm supposed to light the ones at the top? Okay. Well, I guess I can go do that. It's only 2 p.m. We can go do that. I can't remember what happens when you do that. I don't think it's like anything serious, like a heart piece or whatever. It must just be rupees or something. I legit don't remember. What's down here? This just takes you back out the underwater way. I think this is the underwater entrance. Yeah. We didn't come in this way because there's a lake like there, but this is another way to get into Zora's Cape. This will probably be considered the front door, and what we did was the back door. <laughs> so, yeah. There we go. You guys all don't know that I'm secretly Macau, and so you shouldn't be so rude to me. All right, let's run back up. Yeah, it's those guys. Okay, let's get some fire arrows. Let's do this. I cannot remember what you get for this, but we're going to do it and see what happens. There's one over there. I got no aim. I got no aim. My gosh. I'm about to run out of magic. Oh my god. Okay, we're out of magic. Okay. Uh, that didn't work. Let's get some magic. We do have time. Was there pots somewhere? Oh, there was pots outside. There was pots out back. Okay, let's get some of the pots. Give me magic. Yay. Thank you. I don't need no fairy. You can be free. You don't have to help me, fairy. You can go live your life. All right. Let's try that again. Try to stand on the edge so we can have a clearer shot. There we go. But this one already went out, of course. There we go. Okay, both at the same time. Now those are lit. Yay! Whee! Dive! Boom! Are you the one who turned those lights on? You saved me! Here, go buy whatever you like. Okay, it's a blue rupee. Yeah. Okay, it was nothing. That's why I didn't remember. Because it's not fucking anything. Alright, it's 3 p.m. It's a little bit early, but I don't want to be late. Because if you are late for this, you will get locked out. So you absolutely have to go before 6 p.m. So we're just going to go hang out for a little bit with um the Romani sisters. Yes, we soar to Milk Road. It's 
So if you get here and it's even like a little bit after 6 p.m., there'll be like a road barrier here so you can't actually get into Romani Ranch. We don't want that to happen, so here we go. Let's mow their lawn for them. Here you go, Ramani. I cut your grass. You're welcome. You're welcome. No, I did it for free. Hello, puppy. And here they are. Oh my, hello. Armani's going to take our milk to Clocktown, too. You're looking after the place. The cows would be all alone otherwise. Yes, sister. I'm going by wagon to town. Would you like a ride? I'll be leaving about 6 o'clock this evening, so you can join me if you like. Okay, yes, we will be joining you at 6 p.m. Let's smash this box. Boom. Arrows. What's up, dog? Whee! Oh, it's lightning. Whee! Have we gone inside their house? Have I showed y'all what their house looks like? So this is their house. It's called Mama's house. But there is no Mama ever to be found. So they got a nice little, like, dining room, kitchen, living room, like a whole, like, a main room. Basically, they got a main room. I'm just going to walk on their plates. Um, it'll add flavor. And then upstairs, they have a bedroom. And the bedroom only has two beds. So this is clearly Kremia's and Romani's beds. So where are their parents? We do not know. Mysteries abound. So that's their house, where they live. It's called Mama's house, but who's Mama? I don't know, we've never met her. Mm -mm -mm. Let's save. Okay. I, I will not stop watering, you guys. I guess I should not have done makeup on it today, but I wanted to look pretty eyeliner. Yeah, I wanted that. So I did it. I'm gonna open up my LaCroix. There we go. Got a passion fruit flavor one today. There, now you can see it. So we're just gonna wait around until 6 p.m. gets here. It won't be too much longer. <clears throat> And we'll do the protection for Kremia. I got so much stretchies, I feel like. I don't know, I actually slept in really late for me today. No normally I would wake up around about six, you know, and um, if you wake up at those times, it's not like you can just suddenly stop waking up at those times, even if you don't have to be up so early. Um, but today, I actually slept in. I didn't get up until 8 a.m. It was crazy. It was crazy. <clears throat> I love LaCroix. People make fun of them. People make fun of them like they have no flavor. I don't agree. They definitely have flavor. These people are crazy. 
They have flavor. Just because it's not punching you in the face with flavor like a, a Coke or a Pepsi or something. They still have a lot of flavor. When I went to clean the cat room today, I realized like how hot it was today compared to other days because I decided to do like a real cleaning and like we have this plastic stuff on the carpet so that it's mostly protective, but still like little litter bits get up under it. So I decided to like pull up the plastic and actually vacuum underneath it. And oh my God, oh my God, it was so hot. It was so hot. So it was so difficult to like actually do that. But it's way clean now in there. The floor's way clean anyways. So yeah. The plastic works pretty good though. It's taken all the way from August to now for me to get annoyed enough with um with the litter on the carpet to actually clean the carpet. Okay, so anyway, here we go. Here's Kremia. So we can talk to her. Oh, good evening. I'm going to town now to deliver milk. Would you like a ride? Yes, we would like a ride, Kremia. Thank you. That's great. Tonight, I'm kind of lonely. I welcome company. I guess it's been a while now since our father died. I'm trying to take care of the ranch, but things have been bad lately. The cows always seem bothered and frazzled, and I'm finding broken bottles everywhere. Who's doing it? I don't know. My sister Omani's been worried too. She's practicing using a bow. She says it's for protection. Say what are the townsfolk saying about the moon? It's bigger than it used to be. Why the fuck is it going so fast? I cannot read this fast. I'm having to like make up the ending of each one. In town, I have a friend. Her name is Anju. Anju, the day after tomorrow is her wedding. Girl, you talk too fast. I wonder if it will fall, that thing. You see, there's the barrier that would have been there if we would have come too late. What? The road? Boy, get your bow ready. Okay. I got I got you, Kremia. I got you. Hmm, there's a barrier here, too. First Milk Road is blocked by a boulder, and now? We have to take this detour through Ugly Country. Ugly Country. Are you ready, boy? I'm gonna try to get us through here as fast as I can. If any pursuers come from behind, chase them off with your arrows. Okay, I want to get perfect on this, so... We're gonna save state. In case I fuck it up. Okay. They may be after my cargo of milk bottles. Do you understand? We understand. Yes. Thanks. I'm relying on you. If we can get through here, I'll have a big thanks for you. Okay. These bitches. I already took care of you. I beat you. I beat your asses. So you just keep shooting them. You just keep shooting them in their stupid bitch faces. That's it. That's all you do. Don't re don't let up. You will not run out of arrows. So just unrelentingly shoot their bitch asses. They must like being shot because they take a lot of fucking shots. And they don't die. They just get pushed back. No. No. Get the fuck off. Get the fuck off the milk bottles, you bitches. Did we do it? Okay, we made it by their farm. Ah, oh. 
We did it. We saved the milk. Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you. You are pretty cool. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. And there we go. We got the Romani mask. Wear it with C to show you're a member of the exclusive Milk Bar Latte. By doing one good deed, a child becomes an adult. That mask is only given to a limited number of adult customers. It's proof of membership. I now acknowledge you as being an adult. Ah, oh, Cremia, thanks. Cremia sees me as an adult. Bay. Bay. Thank you. Hey, welcome back, Koneko. Welcome back. Okay, so now that we have done that, we need... Okay, what do we need? We need our... So she very conveniently puts me right in front of Ikana, which is exactly where we want to be right now. Get on there. Come on. Come on, turn around. So we want to go over to Akana. Remember, there's something to do there every night. We've only done night one so far. So we're going to do night two. It's a little bit more dangerous at night with those guys, but it's okay. We are cursed. But give me a second and I will cure that because we have the Song of Storms now. And one of the really cool things about the Song of Storms is you can use that to cure your curse. So, we need a couple things. We need this guy. I hope I have my bunny hood on. Okay, and what's the Song of Storms? Okay, it's A down up. That's the best song. Okay, so there, there's rain now, but um, but also, but also, uh, no curse. So you want to put on your captain's hat and come on over here and talk to the stall children. Huh? Ah, captain, sir. Excuse me, sir. Everyone, give your cap give the captain your attention. We haven't seen you in some time, Captain Sir. As per your orders, sir, we've been guarding these graves closely. We have all been expecting your next order, sir. What shall we do? Open the grave. Uh, open it? Y yes, sir. Everyone, follow me. Okay, time for day two of this, this stuff. And we jump down. Whee! All right, so now we're over here, which we could see from the other one. There's a bunch of um, rupees, but this is just a wall, okay? So this is supposed to be our clue. Also, the fact that we get some magic there. This is a Lens of Truth challenge. So if you do this, you will see, oh, it's a false wall, and I can go through this door. And if you turn with the Lens of Truth, you'll see like all kinds of nonsense. Okay, there's a bat there. There's lots of bats. There's like these guys. So, oh, shit. So we want to kill them. I think you can just shoot them with arrows and then they won't potentially knock you off the little uh, road there, but you can just come and kill them regular style. And they keep smacking me in the face. Holy fuck. Okay. Whatever. I'm gonna shoot you with an arrow. There. Lens of truth done. Spider, it did have it out for me. I just remember something from fandom culture that was definitely should have been in the quiz, kink tomato. Yeah, like, and that's not like a super common word. So I was more expecting it to be things like that. You know what I mean? But, um, but no, kink tomato was not there or like plot bunny or like, I don't know, like more obscure words like that, that I feel like are a bit more niche. So here, this is a cracked wall. It's bombable. And there we go. Now we can go through the door. Now, before we do this, I'm going to save. 
because guess what's on the other side of that fucking door? Not anything fun. It's not anything fun. We're gonna put on our bunny hood, be our true selves for this challenge. And look, it's another one of these motherfuckers. Now, he can still kill me in three hits. He can still kill me in three hits. So, here we go. But I do have a better sword now. I have the razor sword, so hopefully we can do this faster. Paddle, I know you want to explain it to me, but I literally just explained it to the peoples. Ah, uh, okay, now he's fast. There we go. Okay. It is easier with a better sword. And from this day, you get... What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? You get a piece of heart! Okay, so this is what you get from the second day. So from the first day, you get the Song of Storms. From the second day, you get a piece of heart. I think it went for old fandom terms that are still in use. Kink Tomato isn't used much anymore. Plot bunnies are easy to figure out. Yeah. And Squick is known people who need to know it. I hope it's making a comeback. It's a much better um, term than some of the other things people are using. All right. So now we need to go to Clock Town. Can I soar from in here or do I have to go back out? Let's find out. Okay, it's not considered inside, so we can soar from here. And here's what we're gonna do. Well, can I do it from here? Let's go in here. There's a scarecrow over here, but I can't remember if the store's still open. Yeah, he's, it's not open. Okay. But you know what I can do while I'm here? Oh, sit. Curiosity shops not open until 10 p.m. Okay. That's okay. We'll come back. All right. Well, let's go. No, it's this way. Let's go to the observatory. We need to talk to a scarecrow. We need to talk to a scarecrow. I don't know if I ever even set the scarecrow song on this save, but if I did set it, I don't remember what it is. So... <laughs> I, I assume I used the typical one, but I just don't know. So let's go. Squeak's gonna can come back in some parts of fandom culture, especially fandoms with strong old fandom roots. Yes, I agree, but it's not as widespread, though it's only a matter of time before Tumblr rediscovers it en masse. Yes, I totally agree, and I think they should. I think they should. like. Because what's ended up happening for the past, I don't know, I feel like it's been like five or six years. People have been using trigger to mean the same thing as squick. And it just really like, I don't like that because that's like using a um, using a psychology word to mean some fandom nonsense. And it's like, I just don't think that's right. It, it puts this importance on squicks that just simply doesn't exist. Um, it's ridiculous. Okay, let's talk to our scarecrow friend. Yep, we're not going to dance with you. No, we shall not dance. Yeah, mysterious song. Okay, he's going to... No. He wants to hear a song written by me. Okay, so I guess I just play it for him. Oh, baby, that's a nice thing you've got there. Let me hear a song you wrote on that.
That's it, just left, right, left, right. Yow, oh yeah, that's a nice tune, baby. By the way, I know of a mysterious song that allows you, okay, we already know about all this. Wanna learn it? No. I already know it, you've already taught me, you just don't remember. Okay, so then he goes away. Now I know I can't do the Song of Soaring from in here. But it is 10 p.m., so I could go sell my milk. I can go sell my milk. Let's go do that. Let's go sell the milk before we go to the next thing. I think it sells for like 200, so I should deposit my rupees first. <laughs> All the way back across town. All right, curiosity shop, here I come. And I'm pretty sure just like a lot of the other shops, he won't talk to you if you wear the bunny hood, so we'll take it off. <laughs> come in. Tonight, I got nothing to sell. I kid you not. Can I buy something? I'll pay you good for it. Show me to Show it to me with C. All right, so we want to sell the milk. Oh, I forgot to deposit rupees. I'll give it to you for 20 rupees. I thought he, whatever. I guess because it's not, I guess because it's like the quest milk. It doesn't sell. I, I thought the milk sold for 200 rupees, but maybe it's only if I get the milk the other way. Whatever, it's fine. We emptied the bottle for 20 rupees instead of drinking it, which is, you know, that's more valuable than drinking it. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and deposit our rupees. Yep, yep, yep. We got too many. We got too many. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, I will. Now I'm gonna soar away right in front of you, which I'm sure is is really cool to see. And next, we're gonna go up to the mountain village. Yes. Stop watering, eyeball. My gosh. At some point, it will stop. And keep thinking. And keep dabbing it, but it don't stop. Oh, excuse me. Okay. So now, to make sure that we don't miss it, it's time to get our gilded sword. Whoa! Oh, a customer. Good, Gabora. Fetch our customer some coffee quick, like. Now then, let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. Hey, now. That's a mean joke. Your sword has already been reforged into a razor sword. Unless, do you want me to make your sword stronger? To do that, I need gold dust. Do you have any? Okay. As a matter of fact, sir, I do have some gold dust, actually. Why, if it isn't gold dust, it's even top quality. Why, even if I use it to afford your sword, there'll still be some left. All right, just for you. I'll do this for free, but don't tell anyone. Thanks for dropping in. Now then, I'm straight off to work. Come back tomorrow morning. Whoa. He is actually at work. He is, not, not the man. Now, we're gonna soar back to the temple area. Since we have the hook shot, there's something fun we can do. And it is actually back this way, on the road to the temple. So we do need Goron, because I think we have to roll across. Yeah, but then we stop right there. Okay, so you can see this strange little pedestal out there. Um, what we want to do is get our lens of truth 
And I think we need our bunny hood, but I can't remember. We'll find out together. Okay. Let's save state. And we'll use our lens of truth. And look. Oh, it's ice blocks. I'm pretty sure I don't want the bunny hood. Bitch. Oh, I don't have my I don't have my sword. I was trying to sword him, but I don't have it. That's okay. Okay. We don't really need to kill him. Okay, now you can see there's a piece of heart over there. So what we need to do is we're going to need our hook shot and we are going to need our ocarina. And we can use our scarecrow song. Our scarecrow is our friend. He's going to help us out. And oh, look at that. He appears for us. Thank you, sir. And now all we have to do is line up. Okay, where am I at? Okay, too low. Oh, but it worked. Okay. You got a piece of heart. Okay. Um, so we have got that. And then... Our Scarecrow is very, very helpful. For him to be helpful next, we need to go back over to uh, the Southern Swamp. I know we haven't been there in a while, but we're going to go over to the Southern Swamp. Okay, we need two fun things from here. Oh, wait, I don't have my sword. Okay, let me put on the Deku mask. We need some rupees. Let's mow down. I think it's 20 rupees that we need. Yeah, this isn't going to give us enough. That's okay. We've got a hole back here we can get 20 rupees out of. Let's go get 20 rupees out the hole. Wolfos, don't bother me. Wolfos, don't bother me. I'm just a little Deku scrub. Just a little Deku scrub. Don't bother me. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I pushed the control stick the wrong way. Spin, spin, spin for the win. There we go. Now we got plenty of rupees. Pian, pian, pian. Oh, he can't do anything to those wolfos. Oh, I'm going the wrong fucking way. I'm going the wrong fucking way. It's this way. We gotta go to Tingle. You don't scare me. You don't scare me, wolfos. I stun you. I stun you like you've never been stunned before. Alright, now we go up here. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot help you. Oh, we only need a 10. Yes, I do need some. So we need some magic beans. And as you know, magic beans require soil, or sorry, require um, not just soil, but they require water. So we're gonna take off our Deku mask. We need to get some spring water as well. So step down here and collect some. There we go. Yes, we got spring water. All right. Now, we're going to soar back over to Great Bay. Let's put on our Zora mask so that we can swim. And we're going to go back over this way 
to where the pirates are. I think it's like... Is it that piece of land? No. It's over here. It's this piece of land over here that we need to get up on. Okay, avoid the like-likes that are here at night. We do not like the like-likes. All right, now, over here, I'm trying to remember, look at my notes. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we have to hookshot first. So we need our hookshot. And it's like, yeah, okay, there's the hookshot spot. Oh, wrong button. Oh, not quite. Oh my god. Stop moving so much. Is this wrong? Is there a... No, it can't be that one. It's got to be this one, right? Maybe it is this one I'm supposed to get to. There we go. Okay. So we hook shot up here. We hook shot over. Oh. Gonna stand here. Hook shot there. Yeah, and then we got to get to this one. All right, we made it. Now we need our beans. And we need our water. So now... We ride this leaf. Now we see a little piece of heart over there, but the leaf only goes to here. It doesn't quite go over there. So we need our scarecrow friend's help again. There he is. And then you stand on this corner and then let's hook shot for victory. Got another piece of heart. Yeah. All right. Now, while we are here, <clears throat> okay. Four bottles would really be ideal for this, but we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to do two and two. So we're looking for some little fishes. We're looking for some little fishes to get into bottles. Yay, we got a fish in a bottle. I missed. There we go. Got another fish in a bottle. I think I saw another one. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I released the fish. That is not what you're supposed to do. Okay, you want to catch the fish. Okay, don't press the C button the wrong way this time. There we go. Got a third one. So we actually need four. If you have four bottles when you're doing this, you can be a little bit more efficient. We don't quite have four bottles yet, um, but it's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> We're going to Song of Soaring back to make it just a little bit more efficient. 
Yes. So remember, in the first day of this cycle, we saw that uh, there was some fish, and it said, you know, oh, I think it could eat some smaller fish. So that's our little clue. So we want to feed it. We want to feed that fish. Oh, shit. Why didn't you grab onto the thing? There we go. Now we climb. So if we go up here, we can drop our fishes. Is she one? Yum. Is she two? Yum. And fishy number three. Okay, he needs one more fishy, so let's go get it for him. Now you will see fishies like in the big ocean area right out here, but there's not really a good way to get them because uh, Link, who is the one who can use the bottles, is not able to stand on the ocean floor like Zora Link can. So it's best to come over here to these little pools and get the little fish over here instead. It would be cool if there was a way to get the ocean fish really, but there's there's kind of not. Whee! I wish I could swim like this in real life. That'd be cool as heck. I would like that. All right, let's get another fishy. There we go. <clears throat> There we go. So yeah, there isn't really a good way to get the fish in the ocean. They're like really close to the surface of the ocean. It just, it doesn't work. Great buddy, yeah. These are way easier, so. Climb, climb, climb. And here we go. Fishy number four. Yum. I thought that was it. That's a huge fish. What? No, it was four fit. I thought it was four. It's five fish that he's supposed to eat. Dang it. Okay, anyways, let's go back and get another fish. Whee! I guess this gives us more swimmy time. Oh, you thought you were gonna get something like, like, you thought wrong. Nobody likes a like like. Jump. Dodge that like like. He thought he had something. He had nothing. <laughs> it didn't. I tricked it. I tricked it. Okay, is there no more fish in here? Yeah, there's fish. Come to me. Oh my god. How do I keep missing? There we go. Okay. 
Okay, this should be enough fish, I hope. <clears throat> Could have sworn it was four. Four fish that he eats, but I guess it's five fish. Hopefully it's not six. I should have just collected more fishies while I was over there. But I didn't. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Yeah, it's true. All right, let's try that again. Give me your prize, motherfucker. I know you have it. Yeah, it was five fishies. There we go. Thanks, monster fish. Oop. I got so excited, I just jumped right past it. Yay, piece of heart. All right. So, <clears throat> we got a piece of heart. Um, Let's see, it's 2 a.m. Disgraceful fish cannibalism. That is not, no, Jed, they're not the same species. That is not cannibalism. Don't be crazy. Fish can eat other fish. It's okay to do. Just like we eat pigs and cows. Wee! Wee! Give me my bunny hood. I want to go fast like the wind. Can cannabifishum. <laughs> Turducken of the ocean. Yes! Fish can derduck in themselves if they want to. It's okay for them. All right, so if we come up here, we hop, 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 this way. And then we blow up this boulder. Oh. There's a hole. Linky, go down the hole. And this is where you can get free bomb chews. So if you ever actually want to use bomb chews, here's where you can get some. I don't think there, I can't, I don't think there's a time in this game that we ever use bomb chews. There might be and I'm just forgetting about it, but I don't think that there is. But you know what? I'll be right back. I have to go pee in like two seconds. I'll be right back. Cause the next thing is that we're doing is kind of difficult. And uh, yeah. Okay, I'm back. Cannabifishum? No, it worked good, Koneko. Cannabifishum. I get it. All right. So, next what we're going to do, we're going to harass the fuck out some beavers. Oh, I did not mean to fall in the hole again. Apparently we're going to do that first. Then we're going to get back out the hole. Now we're going to go fuck with some beavers. Wee. The beavers are around over here. Get away from me, like likes. Get away. So if you come back to this waterfall where we killed the like like before, we can hook shot for victory. So it's how do you do it? This tree up there? Which tree is it that I'm supposed to hook shot to? I'm trying to remember. Maybe it's it's that one over there, I think, actually. Let's go over here.
Ha ha, he can almost reach me. He can almost reach me, but not quite. Oh, he reached me. He reached me. Ah, and I have no sword. Your shield just got swallowed, bitch. I guess I have no shield for a minute. Oh my god. Aim. My shield. My poor shield. It didn't deserve this. It didn't deserve this. But it's what happened. Okay. That's why the shops sell shields, by the way. Because like likes can fucking eat them. And then you can buy a new shield. I totally got bored. I totally got bored. I did not like it. It was not a pleasant experience for me. It was probably more of a pleasant experience for the like like, but I really don't care how he feels. So I would like to not do that again, sir. Thank you. No, not interested. What's this? Oh, a rupee. And up here? I'm not close enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm not interested in that trope. Thank you. There we go. Is it? Yeah, it's this one in that cave. Come on. Stop going up so much when I do up. Oh my god. They put him like just far enough so you gotta go stand on the edge. There we go. Okay, and now he's he's in this cave. Our beaver friend. <clears throat> and there he is, just swimming around. And what you have to do is first you have to get his attention. Because he doesn't really give a fuck about anyone else but himself and his brother. He's kind of like, um, you know, Sam and Dean in that regard. So I'm just going to keep trying to talk to him. And if you do that, he'll swim to the bottom. He's trying very hard to get away from you, but I don't know how to take a hint, okay? I'm, I'm like, I'm going to be like those role players that are like, hey, but why don't you want to keep role playing? Give me an explanation. Um, I need to know, sir. Okay, now he will talk to me. You again? You can't fool me with your green clothes. You want an empty bottle, don't you? You never learn your lesson. Cuckoo, I'll give you one. But only if you can swim through the rings and the river in under two minutes. So do you want to try? Okay, we're going to save here. And we're going to try. Yes, I would like to try. There's a total of 20 rings. You must swim through them in the right order for it to count. Swim through the rings that's flashing. I'll show you the way, so follow me and don't get separated. Okay. Understood. So we're just going to follow him. And I'm going to fuck up the very first ring. <laughs> I'm going to fuck up the very first ring. Yes, yes, yes. I understand. Ugh, my god. We're gonna do it right this time. We're gonna do it right this time. I'm not gonna get too antsy and we're gonna do it right. He just power starts. Macau, he just power starts. Okay, now. Okay, it's okay, we caught up.
We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. Uh, that was perfect. That's not good. Did you call me, little brother? I yelled you, little bro- big brother, actually. What? An empty bottle? Yeah, an empty bottle. Uh, don't worry, little brother. To use empty bottles. To us, empty bottles are treasures. I can't give you one just because you beat my little brother. We can't just give you one. I'll give you one after you race once more against me. So will you try? Okay. Yes, we're gonna do beaver race number two. We're gonna do beaver race number two. The rules are the same, but this time there's 25 rings. Don't fall behind. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry, sir. Sink down. You can do it. Oh, fuck. Fucked up. Yes. Yes, and I won't do that again. We do it right this time. Oh my god. I always mess up the first ring. <laughs> do it again. The first ring is the hardest. Here we go. No! I thought I had it, but he hit his head. Okay, try again. Ugh. I get too antsy. Okay, one more time. Yes. Come on, Macau. Go through the first ring. Ugh. We just did this. We just did this correctly. And now you're gonna mess it up. Let's do it like that instead. There we go. That worked. Instead of trying to sink down. Stop bouncing off of shit. Just swim straight. There we go. it up. I don't think I'm going to catch up now. Ah, uh, yeah. Load. Majora's Mask has so many really difficult mini games.
Yeah, the movement is really bad. He just does not cooperate. And the reason why people struggle with the beavers so much is because you have to do it so many times. Like, this is attempt number two, but I'm pretty sure it's like four before we get everything we're supposed to get. Itch. Messed it up. Okay, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We can do it. I believe in us. Can we catch up? He did it, little brother. Yeah, he did it, big brother. There's nothing we can do, little brother. <sighs> this is a mess, big brother. Okay, we got the empty bottle. Yes, that's all we were trying to do, is get the bottle. We underestimated you. Okay, and then they kick me the fuck out. They say, get out of our cave. Now, here's the deal. You can go back in the cave. You can go back in the cave, okay? And do it two more times to get a piece of heart. And we're doing it 100% run. So we're gonna do that, but we're gonna do it next week. <laughs> we're gonna do it next week. Okay, so um, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save my state and save it in a couple slots. Make sure that we're good. So next time we'll start with doing the beaver races again. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, did that one break again? Something's wrong with the alerts. Wow, that's what it was supposed to do. I try to play it again. Yeah, I think it broke the last time someone tried to do wow. I need to go look at that one. I don't know. Okay. 
Um, we saved all the states. All right. So for you guys watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.